Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will go over e-filing a G28 form, which is sometimes required on other USAS forms that you are e-filing. Let us log into our caseworker portal. The first thing we want to do is download the e-filing application, which allows communication from our software onto government sites like the USCIS, Department of State, Department of Labor, or other. To download the e-filing application, go to the Tools section on the left and select e-filing. You will see a Launch button to download, and once downloaded, you will install it to your computer. Once downloaded, you should be able to find it on your computer as Serenade ECMS e-filer. Please note that this application is PC-based, which means you must have a PC computer to use it. If you have a Mac, there are third-party solutions such as Parallels or Amazon Workspaces that allow you to have a remote PC desktop on your Mac computer, which would then allow you to use the e-filer. Also, please note that you only need to download the e-filer once. If you have it downloaded already, then you can move forward with the next part of e-filing, which will be explained in this video. Now that we have the e-filing application downloaded and installed, the next step is to locate an already completed form. Let us go into a case profile. From inside the cases, go to the form section. For this video, we will use a couple of completed forms. One will be the G28 and another USCIS e-filable form. For this video, we will use completed forms, meaning we have gone in, added info, and saved information to both forms. However, if you wish to add and work on a form, you can do so by clicking Add Forms and from there, proceeding to input information on the form. Once we have our forms completed, we will first want to lock both forms on the left to ensure no one makes any changes to the forms during the e-filing process. Then, to the right, you will see an e-filing column where it will mark the status as ready and a schedule button. This schedule button is what will send the form to the e-filing application we just downloaded. Let us click on the schedule button on the G28. A pop-up box will appear called e-filing miscellaneous fields. This box must be completed to ensure that every field transfers properly during the e-filing process. We will click on next. We will go question by question ensuring the information appears properly, filling out what is needed. If we click on the Show Mandatory Only checkbox, it will only list questions you need to guarantee everything e-files properly. If you uncheck it, it will show any extra questions you wish to add additional information. You will also see subtext in red to help you identify what answer you put on the form. Once you've gone through the questions and finished verifying the information, you will click on Save and Schedule. In doing so, you have scheduled the form to the e-filing application and the status will now show as scheduled. You will proceed by clicking on schedule on the next form. And if the form has an e-filing miscellaneous field area, you will verify the information in similar manner. If it does not, more than likely you are working with an intake form wizard version of a form, which does not require you to fill out an e-filing miscellaneous field area. However, the form will now show as scheduled. You have now scheduled both forms to be e-filed. Let us proceed to find the e-filing application on your computer. Let us launch the application. The first thing asked is your URL. This is a distinct URL given to each account which can be found in the area you downloaded the e-filer. You will proceed by logging in. You will then be asked to enter your caseworker portal credentials. These are the same credentials you use to log into e-immigration or ECMS. Proceed with logging in. You are now logged into the e-filer and you will see your scheduled forms to the left. We will first want to work on the form that is not the G28. Let us click on that USCIS form. You will be asked to input your attorney credentials. Proceed with logging in. You will then be emailed a verification code. Input that code to be able to log in. Once logged in, you will go to the area to file a form for your client. You may have to register your client, but once added, you can then select them in the area to file a form and select the form below. You will click on Start a Form. You will then see a set of instructions from the USCIS. After reading them, proceed to click on the Start button. You are now inside the e-filable form. This means the Populate Data button has appeared on the right. By clicking it, it will proceed to start populating data on the form online. You will go page by page clicking on the Populate Data button 
ensuring the data is transferred properly. In areas asking for supporting documents, you can upload documents directly from within the e-filer. Once you reach an area asking for G28 information, you will click on the G28 scheduled on the left. You will get a pop-up asking you to confirm changing forms. You will click on Yes. By doing this, the e-filer will now use the scheduled G28 to e-file. To the right, the system more than likely has taken you back to the area to locate to file a form, or possibly even sign in again. If this happens, do not panic. You will either re-sign in, or if already signed in, locate the area where it was asking for a G28. And once inside the G28, the Populate Data button will appear. If clicked, same as before, the G28 will start to populate. Once you are done e-filing both forms, the last thing you want to do is click on Mark as Complete. You'll be asked to enter a reference number, and once clicking Mark as Complete, the form will disappear from the list of scheduled forms in the e-filer. You will repeat the process for the other form scheduled by clicking on that form and selecting Mark as Complete. If we go back into the form section of the case profile, we will see the status as completed, the reference number you inserted, and lastly, the completion date. You have successfully e-filed both forms. This concludes our video on e-filing a G28 form.